What's up guys? Um, just a quick review and I'm gonna show you how to modify a Harbor Freight manual tire changer. I bought one just to kind of break down the wheels and tires for the shoebox because I wanted to paint them. And if I go get tires that say like Walmart or something, you know, are they gonna pull off my old 70 year old tires and then let me paint them? No, they're not gonna do that. So <clears throat> what we bought. This is basically from Amazon, but this is the exact one you get from Harbor Freight. So this is assembled how you see it. It comes with this bar and it's got some deficiencies, right? This bar, let me show you this thing. This thing, it doesn't work well. Can you get a tire on and off with it? Absolutely. Will you destroy a nice wheel with it? Yes, you will. Without a doubt, you will destroy the wheel. <clears throat> All right, so I hacked up some stuff. This is a Harbor Freight standard receiver tube. Um, two inch ID, they don't even, I'm gonna take that off of there, but look how nicely this saw cuts. If you guys are interested in this saw, it's a, uh, and get you close enough s380 cps it's the 15 inch evo chop saw absolutely incredible how fast this thing goes through steel um, don't do stainless exhaust tubing being thin and very hard it, it'll chip the teeth i have wiped out a blade doing the exhaust on that truck and i uh, had to buy a new blade so I would say, I would caution you against that. They do make a stainless steel blade, cutting blade. I don't have it. And uh, I don't really do that much stainless. And I got a bandsaw or I'll just cut it with the death wheel. But anyway, so here's where we're at. So I did cut the stainless steel. This is stainless steel pipe. So I cut that with the saw. It was fine. This should fit in here. Can't do that with one hand. See, and it'll slide up and down. And then this obviously fits in there. So I'm gonna clean all this up. And then we're gonna weld this to that. That way that's our arm out and the most sliding block. That way we can do, you know, a larger diameter tire or wheel, I mean. And uh, look what just showed up while we were talking. Tires. Amazon. I'm gonna try to do this myself. I'm gonna buy one of those manual balancers. Give it a go. What's the worst case scenario? I go pay someone afterwards I screw, after I screw it up. I'd rather have the experience of doing it myself, so it's worth doing that. Guess who just showed up while I was welding? Amazon. So this is kind of what I'm working with. Still smoking crazy hot, but anyway, slides back and forth. This goes in here, goes up and down. And that's going to be attached to this. This is what you guys need. This is a duck head. And then, let's open this thing up. Hold on. Struggling, struggling. And then we got this. I hope this is the right size. It looks like it is. Perfect. See? Then it keeps you centered. That's the ticket. That's a ticket to making the ones that spin are on the perimeter work. So I'm going to walk you through the modifications. So basically the bead breaker right here is not strong, right? And all I did was weld a piece of plate on the back of it. So it would strengthen it from doing this. And ultimately, I think if you had bolts uh, with nylocks, obviously, so you don't crush it. Also, put a piece of rubber on here. And I'm using this. This is just a piece of pipe I cut off. I found it in my scrap pile. And um, this comes with it. And this is what you're supposed to put on your on your wheel. But... It, this thing would just just eat eat your wheels like it's its job 
So I bought this cylindrical cone. This is actually designed for this unit. Um, so if you go on, you know what, I'll, I'll put a link to it. it. It's it's worth the money. I think it was like 32 bucks. And then the duck bill, the duck bill was 15. I'll, I'll get you a link to that. And then this is just a piece of two, two inch conduit. And then this is two inch um, OD or diameter pipe. And this is basically, I mean, you can see the, the tag on it. This is like a piece of receiver tubing and I just cut it off. So this slides in and just, you know, some crappy little welds. My, my MIG welder, man, my old Lincoln, I think she's on her last leg. The, the feed motor for the wire, man, so bad. It's like, bzz, 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 and then it's all of a sudden it gives you a decent bead. Let's see if I can get you guys, there's my fan. My wife goes, you're literally running a fan outside. I'm like, yeah, I'm fat. You're fatter in person. And it's hot out. Of course I am. We're mountain biking all day today with her. She didn't even go over the bars this time, which was nice, because she does that sometimes. This thing's supposed to go in there like that. And this thing, it goes like here. Oh, I'd have to go in the top one. You guys will learn with me. Guys, do, do something in the comments. Tell me, yes, no, good, bad. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Anything helps my channel, right? And subscribe if you if you want to watch me struggle. So technically, oh, sh oh it worked. Hey, hey. All right. Well, that's good. Okay. So now you'd spinny to this side like this, and you, they were a crushy crush. Oh, we gotta get that side. This wheel's pretty well rusted. Um, I had a tube went in. Now when you do that, you gotta flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so now we broke it off the bead. So now we gotta get it in this apparatus. I drilled the hole for the lug. We cranked it down. It's got the, the cone to kind of center it, right? Now, the problem I had the first time was I didn't pull the tube out first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this bead up over the top and then I'm gonna grab that tube because that got all hung up last time. No good. That was no good. So then this thing drops on here. And then you gotta get your your ducks in a row. You know what I'm saying? Your little duck bill in here. So I guess that sits like so. I guess. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Like that. Like that. I don't know if I have to tighten these with a wrench. Probably should though. And that spins around. <clears throat> We're gonna take our seven dollar harbor freighter. We're gonna get this up over the duckville, right? And then we're going to take our, the bar that came with it, and we're going to walk her around. Oh, see, here's the issue. <laughs> I saw one where the guy was like, you got to pinch the, you got to get it over the B. There it is, like that. Okay. So that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> That's pretty easy. All right. So now we got to get this tube out. It doesn't help that it's all wet now. So 
throw out with the tube. Throw out the pile of other tubes. Man, these get dirty. All right, so now what you want to do is grab the bottom past your duck bill and get her up over, right? Basically the same thing we just did. And get your arm on it and you walk it around. And that's it guys. This thing works pretty good. And that's it. Not bad. And that's it guys. Pretty decent. So now you can clean up your wheels. You know, wire wheel all under the lip if you're gonna use you know, a tubeless, because that's what I'm doing. I got four brand new tires. And that's it. So we'll pop that off. Man, the inside of this looks great. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's really good. Um, and I'm just going to scuff them down and paint them up. And then we're going to try to put one back on. <laughs> So it's a few days later and uh, I just screwed this back down. So I took this off the concrete. I just screwed it back down because I have the anchors in the concrete. Um, what I did was the dismounted rims, I just hit them quick rattle can red, right? Um, I bounced back and forth, white walls, non-white walls. I think the red with the trim ring and the center cap, we're gonna go with the black walls. I have never mounted a tire this is the first time you guys are going to watch it and I'll fumble through it. And then if I figure out a better way, I'm going to explain it to you the next time I do it. And um, if we're lucky, maybe, maybe Jess will come out and uh, I'll see if I can get her to do one just to see if it's easy or not. Probably not easy, but so this hog, we'll send her down. There is an alignment pin. See if we can grab it like so. I guess like that. See if this bolt will go up far enough. I don't even know. Maybe. Oh, I could grab that. A couple threads at least. All the bolt's doing is keeping it from spinning around. So, throw this alignment thing down on it. And then crunch that. So what you want to do is get this you want this hog tight, right? Because you don't want to spin. It's going to spin anyway. I know that, guys. Right? I would imagine this could be finger tight because we're just trying to keep it from rotating past that point. Right? I've never done this before, and I've only seen it done by friends. I have a buddy who mounted up the tires on our 64. He's always willing. I just hate, I hate asking guys. I hate, I always hate asking for help. I don't, I'd like to be able to do things by myself. Oh, that thing's full of dirt now. So I guess you push this thing through here because I've seen him do that before. And then you screw this thing on top of it. And this grabs it by the threads, right? How far is too far? I don't know. And then he does something like this, but I think I'm going to need a towel. Because I'm just going to scratch the hell out of this. But I have seen him use a towel. I don't honestly care too much about these wheels, guys. This, like I said, this car is... This is a budget build. And then you pull. Oh, yeah, it went right through. Hey, <laughs> hey, cool. I wonder how well it's going to seal if it went in that easy. So... 
No, it's in there. Good. All right, so this thing works. I guess. All right. I'm going to get yourself the cheapest possible tire you can get, which these are Nexen. N-E-X-E-N. 205-75-15. This is what I was told is the equivalent to what is on the car as far as, um, you know, newer size, non non bias ply, I guess, radial. What is it considered? Metric? I don't, I don't know. All right, now, I think you can just, like, give it. Yeah, right. There's absolutely no way that's going on. this in the bottom oh went on <laughs> okay a lot it went on you just have to you know throw 250 at it so anyway let's get our little spinny spin unit here oh, we're on it aren't we we need a little blasty blast That's already loose. Okay. We're gonna get our duck head out of the way. And we're gonna bring this a hog over. Um it's a good question how that works. I don't know. Is it already in it? No. Oh that's why. <laughs> Got to be pulled in. So, I don't necessarily want this to touch the top of it, I don't think. Because I don't want it to rip off my sweet $8 paint job. This has two of the finest coats that you could ever imagine of Rust Oleum. So, I watched a guy do this. And you got this thing down as far as you could, and you gotta bring one end up over like this and one under the duck, right? And what this gentleman did was he basically put a clamp here because he was concerned that the bead is gonna turn around, and that absolutely may happen. So I think we're just gonna try some, some soapy water. Oh, didn't like that. I don't want water in it, but does it even matter at this point? Okay. So if I start this down here, basically you want to try to hold this bead into the middle from what I see. So let's try it like that. And then you spin and Dude, just like that, guys. Boom. That was easy. Man, that was easy. All right. That's not a bad deal. I got to be honest with you guys. That worked a lot easier than I thought it was going to work. I thought this was going to be like me absolutely struggling with this. And then you guys would be laughing at me. Which is okay, it's okay if you guys laugh. You know, I want to try to make it entertaining. Now what I'm looking for on here is did it damage the wheel, right? Did it take off the paint? Because honestly, the paint would come off before it was scratching aluminum wheel. So let me grab you guys. There was no there is no paint missing from this edge. That's the seam sealer. That's the rim sealer. All the way around. Guys, that's amazing. This thing works awesome. You guys could build this. It, it's, it's easy. And I'm going to give you the, uh, the list at the end. So back on we go. Now, 
I heard this is kind of a monster to get these things to take air, but we're gonna see. Compressor's off. Hey, so about this thing, right? So it's supposed to clip on to the valve stem and then you just kind of squeeze. That way you can kind of work the other hand. This thing's 10 bucks at Harbor Freight. So um, this is the cheaper one. They have like the Merlin line, but you know, how many times are you gonna use this kind of thing, right? That's what we talk about all the time is, you know, are you doing this a lot? Man, here comes the rain. It's been raining off and on all day. I'm trying to blast this out for you guys because I got so much to do. So you clip this thing. Oh, you should pull the valve core out, right? Because you got to get, you got to get the bead seated and you want the volume of air. So you want this valve core out. At least this is what my friends tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I could be making, I don't know, guys. And I think this just clips on like that. All right. So hopefully this is the same fitting that I have. It is. And then you, I guess you lift or. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, there it goes. And hopefully we'll get some pops. Well, guys, I didn't really hear any popping, but it is on the bead all the way around. Wow. Guys, it's awesome. We're dialed, we're dialed. Not so bad. So, you can do this at home and you can save yourself money. Now, how much is your time worth, right? I, I built this because it was fun for me and I thought it would be a cool video for you guys. But I also built it because honestly, Short of my buddy helping me out, which he does, and he's, he's you know, he's willing and, you know, he's a good guy. Um, but if you say, had to bring it to a shop, some guys are telling me 20 bucks a tire. Some people are saying 25 bucks a tire, wheel. But if you need to break them down, and you want to just spray paint them, right? You don't want to have the tires on them. You can, then you just break the bead, put a plastic bag over it, then paint them, put them back together. But... I have a manual bubble tire balancer. That's going to be a different video. And I'm going to show you guys how to balance them yourself and how to make improvements to those cheap balancers. You know, is it as good as, you know, a spin balancer or a road force balancer? No, of course it's not. I mean, could you put airsoft BBs in here? Of course you could. But, you know, this car literally has never been on the road and I just need to be able to roll it around. And honestly, this is awesome. This works, guys. This is great. So I'm gonna time lapse another one for you, and maybe I'll get Jess out to do one. But I'm impressed. Color me impressed. One down. All right, guys, we got Jess out here and she's gonna make an attempt to put one of these tires on for us. So um, I'm gonna grab a wheel and we're gonna walk her through it. These are freshly painted, don't screw them up. I'm kidding, it doesn't matter. We're gonna tighten this tight, tight, grab it. Pull it towards you, pull, go, pull it. Is it tight? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's so, what you were drilling holes and I was asking what you were doing. That's what I was, yes, exactly. <laughs> I was drilling holes. Just as, just as always curious when I'm drilling holes in things. What are you doing? <laughs> are you drilling holes out there? <laughs> so we're gonna screw this hog onto there. This is a tool made for this, right? And then to protect my 
absolutely flawless $8 paint job, which is not flawless. You're just going to put this over and you're going to push this down. Go ahead, you do it until it pops and it's going to go plunk and you're going to see it. Push, push. See, that's it. Okay. Right? Then you unscrew. So our new valve stem is in the wheel because the old wheels and tires had tubes, right? So it was a tube that came through there. We're going to pull off the sticker that has our address on it so nobody stalks you. Oh man, this is, this is what I got guys. Her <laughs> hit me with that. Okay, so we want black wall out. We decided that together, remember, because we're going to have the ring. We don't want the white wall. Yes. So usually they have this stuff and I thought that's what I bought in that can and it's not. It's like tire lube. So basically... So that's useless? No, it, it's, it's seam sealer. It's it's sealer in case you need it. So what you're gonna do is liberally add some type of lubricant. You know all about this. That's not even on. It just has to be here because oh, okay. this is where it's gonna go. So we're gonna take this, and you're kind of little, so I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna put it on, and we're just gonna wrangle it down. Wrangle. <laughs> That's it. So now we got the bottom one on, which is easy. The top one's the issue. Top one the top bead of the tire. Oh. So now we're going to take my fan my newfangled device. And this thing, <laughs> you like this thing? <laughs> I made this myself. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, so we're going to push this down like this. And then we're going to get this duck bill. Looks like a mouth. This duck head. It's called a duck head actually. And we're going to put it here. We're gonna tighten it down. Mm -hmm. And the height's good, right? So, these don't have to be super tight, but I didn't put any like handles on these. I'm gonna put a handle on it so you can just tighten it back. Right now, what do we need? We need that. What else do we need? I don't know. You know? No. I mean, a ring? If it's hard to get in there, what do you need? A hammer? You need some lube. Oh, I don't know. We got to sauce her up. <laughs> so it slips in there easier. Okay, so what now. What is that? Huh? What is it? It's just soapy it water. It's like my olive oil. It's not. It's not <laughs> EVOO for your taint. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to put the, the bead goes over the front lip and then under the duck head. Okay. You want me to do that? No, here's it's already it already is like that. So what oh, you're wow. going to do yeah. is you're going to walk this. You're going to stick this like this. You're going to make sure this doesn't fall out into the wheel because you're going to destroy the wheel. Oh, Hold geez. this. You're going to stand on that side, right? Yeah. But you need to push down. So you might want to start over here, right? So grab it from here. And you're going to continue to push down here. Wait, so I'm just using this to hold myself? You're going to use this and you're going to pull it in a circle. While I'm doing this Yeah, at so the you, same want to, time? you want your arm out like that. What? Put this down. Like that? Hold the tire from spinning. Yeah. And then walk. Yep, keep walking, but you're going to push down here, see? Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Push you don't have here. to push down here. You, you're going to be on this side, so you keep pushing down. Yep, now walk. Keep walking. Don't let this slide off of here. Okay, let this go. Is in my go. Way, but I let go. You said keep going. I know, but you're sli sliding off. Go ahead. Go. Just put your hip in it and keep walking. I'm not moving. No, push harder. <laughs> okay, keep going. Keep going. This is the end. This is where you really got to push through. I can't move. Push and through. Push the tire. You don't have to push down. All you have to do is push the stick. Oh. Push the stick. You said hold the tire. Keep going. Push the stick. <laughs> push the stick. Oh. That's Jeez. it. That's all it takes. Okay, you made it sound like I had to be doing two no, things at once. But as far as you pushing in a circle, you didn't have to put a lot of pressure, right? No. You just didn't understand I was the process. I focusing on what you wanted me to do with the tire. Right. So, that guys, Jess is super strong for her size. That was easy. So, let's let's interview you. Overall, was this easy to walk around yes, once you knew the procedure. Yes, your directions were not good enough.
Excuse me? For me to understand the purpose of what I was doing. Oh, Once okay. Once I started doing it, it made sense. Okay. All right, guys. So, can you buy a Harbor Freight manual tire changer or one from Amazon? I'm guys, I'm going to give you the link for the one I bought. I believe it was about $80. Um, what else are you going to need? Okay, so I'm going to swap sides of the camera and I'm going to go through with what you need, right? So, this tapered aluminum piece is key. If you were going to do this mod and you need to spin around, that rim has to be flat, right? Can't be like this because that duck head has to be very even with the lip. So when this is spinning around, it can't go up and down like this, right? So this I believe was like 32 bucks. I'm gonna give you guys the link for that. They do make a larger one. So if you do like I did a Ford F100 wheel, I wish that I had bought the bigger one. The bigger one has the taper, but it's wider overall. I think it's like maybe five bucks more. I'm gonna give you guys a link for both of those. And then what do you need to get this thing spinning around, right? This is a piece of electrical conduit, right? Um, it just has to slide over the main post. And then this was a piece of two inch. And then this is a receiver that I bought from Harbor Freight. This was $16 and we cut it, boom. Also, you're going to need the duck head. The duck head is $15 from Amazon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a link. And then all you need to do is crudely cut out the top. All I did was put a piece of cardboard on it, cut it out with the death wheel, punch two holes in it, and then weld it to a piece of pipe that slides in another piece of pipe. Now guys, you don't need a pipe with the, with the, the, the internal and external diameter matching. You could use a, a square piece of tubing here, right? And then a round piece of pipe and then all you have to do is drill the square piece of tubing at an angle. That way it pushes the round into the corner. It's gonna hold it the same way. So as long as you can slide in and out this way and up and down, and you have this relatively square. Now, is it relatively square? Sure, but when it sits down on this collar, is it so square? It doesn't really matter. As long as the duck head itself gets relatively flat to the wheel. So I did three of these and maybe maybe 20 minutes or so and jess did one obviously with some tutelage my horrible instructions arguably she did not like the instructions but she handled it right and she walked it around she showed you you know she's she's tiny she's very strong but she's tiny she just threw her hip into it and just walked it in a circle so you felt if you had done another one of these you would have understood it better and you could have just zipped it right around. Yes. Okay. So that's going to do it for this episode of Mad Ginger Customs. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we appreciate all the likes, all the subscribers, all the comments. Drop a comment down there. You know, is this something you would want to build? Is this something you would spend time on and build? Because honestly, I think it is a money saver after your initial investment is recouped. But if you do four tires you recoup your investment at least where i live you do so uh like and subscribe um drop comments i'm gonna have all of the links in the description and thanks for watching